Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and in this video what we're going to do is look at how to do odds ratio interpretations in logit regression. Okay, so again, this video, this video follows from the previous ones where we're using 2011 Scottish census data, um, and we have this model here with our outcome variable being employment dummy and then our predictors being gender, general health, and marital dummy. So let's just rerun this to take a look at it. All right, and so let me just scroll up. Okay, so we have, again, that all three of these are statistically significant. So given that, we can interpret uh, all of the predictors. Um, so this is something that, you know, you have to tell people over and over again that we only interpret um, uh, statistically significant predictors. We do not interpret non-significant non-statistically significant uh, predictors. All right, so we're going to do um, odds ratio here. In the videos that follow after this, we'll look at, uh, at um, predicted probabilities. So we can only do odds ratio with logit. Uh, it doesn't work with probit. And so in order to do it, we could do it uh, individually. That's one way that we could do it. But we can also get the odds ratio values all at the same time. Um, and so to do this, all we have to do is, right, is we're going to do um, an exponential. All right. Um, so we could, again, you could do it for the, the coefficient itself, but we could do it for the whole model at once. So we're going to do here uh, exponential and then model one, because that's the model object. And then what we want from that is the coefficients. So the coefficients. And then what we're going to do also is we're going to include this uh, square bracket and then minus one. And what that does is just simply gets rid of the intercept. All right, so let's highlight that and run that. Okay. All right, so we have our odds ratio values down here. Okay, so an, it, an odds ratio value of 1 is even odds. Anything below it is, is going to correspond to a negative coefficient. Anything above is a positive coefficient. All right, so let's let's. Um, let's interpret this and what we're going to do is I'm actually going to type it out. Oh, plotting doesn't exist anymore. Hold on a minute. I'm actually going to uh, type this out here. And so uh, let's do it for gender. And so gender is a dummy variable. So we need to use a dummy variable interpretation. All right. Um, which means that you need to talk about first whatever the higher category is and then the effect and then compare it to what the lower category is. So I'm just going to type this out, and since we're using R Markdown, um, we can knit this afterwards, and we'll get this to show up with the code, with the output, and with our text itself. So how we would start this off is, so women's odds of being employed are smaller, all right, because it's, it's a ne negative coefficient, right, so this is below 1, so are smaller by a factor of 0.723 rounded. All right. So so again, so it's by so it's smaller and then when we do odds ratio we have to say by a factor. So that's actually key. We're going to see in a minute where we do it with as a percentage and we don't need to do that. All right. Um, so by a, by a factor of 0.723 then and then whatever that lower category is. So so for us here, it's men or men, uh, men's odds. So men's odds of being employed. Okay. So all all together, this would be women's odds of being employed are smaller by a factor of 0.723 than men's odds of being employed. All right. Let's do it for uh, general health as well. So general health takes the similar, at least the beginning of it, takes a similar form to an interpretation that you do with linear regression. So we would have for a one unit increase in general health. So this is so this is um, self-reported health status, right? So this is towards better health, all right? So for a one unit increase in general health, the odds oops, the odds of being employed increase by a factor, and then whatever that is, right, by a factor of 2.62.
Okay. Oh, if I'm going to be complete, I should learn how to spell. All right, so for a one unit increase in general health, the odds of being employed increase by a factor of 2.62. Okay, so we can also do this as a percentage, which I actually like better because I think it makes more, it sounds better, and I think it makes a little bit more intuitive sense. So I'm just going to name this section here, odds ratio as percentage. All right, and then I'm going to set this code chunk, which you can set the code chunks um, at the beginning as a global option. I just like to do it individually. Um, it's up to you. All right, so we're going to use a very similar thing. We're just going to add it, add um, a little more extra stuff here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start it off with a um, parenthesis. Then I'm going to do e exp for exponential, and then model one. So this is the same as above. Model one dollar sign coefficients okay and then I'm going to use the um, square brackets minus one to get rid of the uh, intercept and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to subtract one all right so to get the to get the odds ratio as a percentage it's the exponential of the beta or the coefficients minus one times a hundred so we're going to do this all at once. So you can, again, you could do this individually if you want. Um, it's just nice to do it all, as, all at the same time. All right, so, so we have uh, outside here minus 1, and then we're going to multiply it by 100. All right, so let's highlight that and run that. Okay, so we can see now that the odds ratios have been converted to as a percentage. All right, and so... Let's, uh, like we did before, let's, let's type in the, the interpretations just so it's clear. All right, so we have now that we're going to do women um, or gen the coefficient for gender first here. So, so women's odds, sorry, women's odds of being employed are 27.7% smaller than men's odds of being employed. All right, so again, this is corresponding to this value right, right here. All right, um, and then for general health, we'll do this as well. So for a one unit increase, sorry, in general health, the odds of being employed increase by a hundred and 62.09 percent all right so what's nice about this i think it's i think it's more intuitive uh first of all the other thing is right you don't part of being intuitive is you don't put this by a factor all right it's just it's just more it's straightforward so you need to put in that the odds you know you're, that you're that you are talking about odds but you're just using that um as a percentage all right so what i'm going to do is Let's uh, let's knit this and take a look at it. Look at it in R Markdown. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to just pause this video and come back when it spits it out. Okay, so here is the R Markdown uh, Word version here. All right. So again, it's showing all this stuff. Okay, so just getting down here to the odds ratio. So you see that we have that our uh, odds ratio is set as uh, a section. We have our code here and the output itself. Uh, which is in this nice little gray box, and then our text underneath. So this is a really nice way of doing um, data assignment labs um, and writing up sort of reports and stuff like that. It looks really nice. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, we're just looking, we just looked at doing odds ratio and odds ratio as a percentage for logit models um, in R. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.